It's a rare band. Oh, it's a rare band. I put a request into the drummer. What did he say? Beat it! <laughs> in 1972, uh, the theatre um, faced certain demolition uh, and a group of the a community group got together uh, and hatched the plan and broke into the theatre. What happens is the audience become the, the group, break into the theatre, and as they move about the theatre, they meet all the different characters and stories that are relevant to the theatre's history. The war was another challenging time for the theatre. The government decided to close all the theatres down for fear that large congregations of people would be ripe for airstrikes, but they soon had to change their mind when they realised that entertainment would play a vital part in the war effort. And the Gaiety was one of the first theatres in Britain to reopen its doors and entertain people throughout the war. So basically in 2016, uh, the Gaiety started a heritage project funded by Heritage Lottery Fund, working with the archives, uh, Ayrshire Archives as one of the partners and the UWS as well. So in the archives, we have photographs, we have records, for example, we have flyers, posters, programs, so old material that's been published in the past for performance purposes. Mary Mascot's Blue Bell. Please, follow me. I am expecting to see um, a few of the stories that I know of the Gaiety. When we were doing the Heritage Project, one of the things we wanted to do was to collect stories from patrons because that rounds off the whole story of the theatre. The theatre's only here because of the people who come in and buy tickets. Um, it's always been a community theatre. This is the Scottish Home Service. <laughs> we present the gaiety. A story of romance and gaiety.